This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip the tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on screen shout outs, access to members only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And we're going today we're gonna take a look at the running game again from the Baltimore Ravens. Looked at Derrick Henry stats from this last game, and he had a, a lot better game than he had the first game. 18 carries, 84 yards, 4.7 yards per carry and a touchdown. Long run of 29 yards. Now, yeah, I know I'm a huge proponent of him running a lot of outside zone. A lot of zone stuff because that's what he's been good at, you know, back in his Tennessee days. But according to PFF, of those 18 carries, nine were zone scheme, nine was gap scheme. I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at some of the good runs from Sunday and some of the bad runs from Sunday. Uh, and we'll see which ones are which. We got some gap and we got some zone. And um just furthermore look at the point as to why the play calling is the way it is. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. Let's get started. All right, now to the film portion. But before we get into the film portion, I appreciate y'all for, for joining. And if uh, you do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well and hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop throughout the 2024 season. Let's start with the bad runs. We'll start with the bad runs first. Got that motion from Zay. Again. <laughs> During gap runs, man. Trying to run counter. Trying to run counter. What should happen is Voorhees should pull around and kick out Max Crosby. The car is going to try to come around and wrap to the linebacker. And you should get down blocks from... Oh my, my mouse can act, right? You get down blocks from everybody else. And just... Boy, he's never sees Max. He got to get his head around and find Max. Got to, because that's the guy he going to kick out. He's never sees him. Like, I, I'm not sure what he's looking at. At this point, and you see where he's going, adjust your angle and work back here. Adjust your angle and work back here at this point. Because you see you see him flying. He ain't waiting. He ain't squeezing. You see him flying. Adjust your angle and work back here. Never had a chance. During gap runs. Next bad one. Another gap run. Pain and pull. Tell you why this pain and pull didn't work. All right. Pain and pull. So you're going to have guys. That's, so pain and pull right. So the rules for this is if you have a guy in your left gap, you block down and then two other guys pull. So following these rules, following these rules, the car block down. Mark's going to crash down on Max. Um, Voorhees is going to try to take him one-on-one, -on -one, so you should get Linda Bond pulling while Lele pulling. What happens is Max kind of gives, Max kind of gets some penetration right here, and him and Mark kind of kind of make a mush, and while Lele don't go around this, he runs into it, which leaves this guy right here, who while Lele would have blocked, unblocked, and, there, and he, he cuts Derrick Henry down for a minus five-yard run. Because Paul Lele don't have the wherewithal to go around the mark block. Because because Max just makes a whole mess. Nobody gets out here on number one. So he's free and he makes the tackle.
You know, your down blocks, you see Mark trying to down block, you see Voorhees trying to cut them off, you see Makari trying to down block too. So he follow Lele runs into Mark and can't get out there, and now one one's by himself. Nobody gets out there to one, not even Linda Bone. Sickening. Sickening. Now we, now, we did have some, some bad gap runs now. This is Duo. A version of Inside Zone. This is a version of Inside Zone. This is Duo. You're trying to get double teams in the middle. Now, right here, Max Crosby does... He does cheat down at the last minute, which makes this hard, this block hard for Isaiah Likely. But what should happen is Pat McCarry, instead of just taking off and going to second level, should help out with McCarry. I mean, should help out with Likely, then go to second level. That's what should happen. But he throws a little funky chicken wing and don't even touch or help. Don't touch Max Crosby, and it doesn't help Likely. Because Crosby has a head start on Likely. Crosby's already moving. Already moving. He times the snap great. So he's already got to step on likely before likely get out of his stands. Now, right now, Makari should throw that. And see, look at that. Look at that. That's that's pathetic. That's pathetic. From a professional, you chicken wing. This is what I see high school players do when they learn in a position. Chicken wing. Throw that hand there. See, let's, now, on the other side of the ball, it happens. Look at Voorhees. Go, take your eyes to Voorhees. Did Voorhees throw that hand to make sure Linda Bum got that man? See that hand? That's what McCarver should have did. And he didn't. He throws a chicken wing and whiffs. And now likely he's on, on Max's backside. And he gets another tackle in the backfield. And it looked like it looks like likely screwed up. But likely was at a disadvantage because his tackle didn't help him. Another bad zone run. And this is this is one of the runs that I I like. This is outside zone. We still get two yards on this. But we could have gotten more. Still get two yards on this, but we could have gotten more. Got outside zone left. Get a good double team on 69. Little Bum immediately, watch how fast Little Bum gets his head on this side of 95, which is key. You want If you run his own that way, you want to get your head on that side. That's what you want to do. want to get your head on that side. Now, with that being said, I'm going to give Falele some grace. It's going to, Devon, uh, Diablo, this cat right here, he can fly. And so it's going to be real tough for Falele to cut him off. It's going to be extremely tough for Farlele to cut him off. So Farlele got to try to come out flat to cut him off at the point. And that's, in Farlele's case, it's a hard block. I don't think he make it on this play. I don't think. But I'm going to give him grace on this one because Devon Diablo can fly and Farlele, we know, cannot. So he got to work his angles, and I don't think his angles going to help him on this one. But that's good by Lindemann to cut it off and split. See, Lindemann cut him off and split the defense. If Falele could have gotten to Diablo and just even pushed him down here, just even pushed him down here, Derrick Henry would have been able to bam, bam. But, but because he can't, and, I, and I'm not punishing Falele on this one because it's just athletics, genetics. He just can't get there. Get a hat on the head on the right side, and that this is the hole Derrick Henry wanted to get to. Diablo covered that up, and again, Falele just he can't get there. Can't get there on this one. But he still gets two yards on it just because he got a head of steam going downhill. And again, this is one of the worst zone runs we had. And we still got two yards out of it. So let's get to the good stuff that I think. Let's get to the good stuff. Little toss crack. Toss with the offensive line blocking um, outside zone. It's 
See the offensive line, all the offensive line blocking outside zone. You're going to get a crack by likely on Max. Car leading out here. Everybody else, outside zone, outside zone, outside zone, outside zone. Let's see how they do. So you got the double on Christian. You got Kolar going up to Spillane. Got the down by Likely, which is good. You got Lindenbaum again, head on the right side. You got Voorhees with the cutoff. And Ronnie just kind of looking backside because Ronnie ain't no way he can get the Diablo. No way. And so then you got Spillane, who, who looks free, but Kolar should be working up to Spillane. Look like we got to play. Mm, nope. <laughs> Spillane outruns Kolar, but luckily we got Ricard back there. So now Kolar realizes that he can't get Spillane, turns his attention to Diablo, which is fine. You miss the guy, no use of chasing him. Go to the next guy. And got him there. Now, Rosengarten was going to pick him up anyway, but he couldn't. Because Kolar got him. So what Rosengarten needs to do now is work to the next man. Ah, uh, who's that miss? Falele don't finish. But let's go back to Falele. Let's go back to Falele. No, that's Falele right there. Him and Christian Wilkins. See, remember I talked about getting your head on the right side? His head is still on the wrong side. If he just get his head on the other side, Christian can't get in on this tackle. At no point does he try to get his head on the other side. See, see right here, Linda Bum's head on the on the right side of that defender. Falele should be working to do the same thing. Even though, like right there, Rosengardner has is in the way. At this point, Falele should be working his tail off to get on the other side of Christian Wilkins. And at no point in his play does he. He's content with being on his backside. He's content with being on his backside. And content with Derrick Henry getting tackled by your guy. So I don't know what tape the head man is watching. But he can't be watching the same stuff we watching. And this is a good play. This was a good play. Go to the next one. Got six on that one. Outside zone for 29. This is the Derrick Henry we used to seeing. But that great stiff arm. DBs don't want that action. They do not want that action. Great. Just, all we need to do is get a hat on a hat. Because we don't have imposing linemen that can move people. So let's just let's just get them get a hat on a hat. Look at Falele. Falele can do that. He ain't got to maintain that huge block. McCart, because we ran away from the two main guys. And on the front side, we got a hat on a hat. We got a hat on a hat. And then the, the one free guy we got, Derrick Henry just outruns him to the outside. Record, and Henry cuts off of that. He cuts off that little gap right there. Now he's off to the races. Now this is when Derrick Henry becomes King Henry. This is when he becomes King Henry. Watch this still for him. Chill little ass out here. Outside zone, baby. Need to see more of it. Need to see more of it. This is straight up inside zone for nine. Straight up inside zone. And this ain't even blocked right, people. This is not blocked right at all. This is not blocked right at all. Watch Christian Wilkinson on Linderbaum. Look at look at he split the double team between Linderbaum and Farley. Look what Christian does to Linderbaum. Bam. Get out of here, little dude. Bam bam. Get out of here, little dude. And luckily Farley just lean on him. Luckily. And he get right through there. That ain't blocked right. Ryan is on the backside of the 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 what's that? The the three technique. Ryan is on his backside. Boy, he's don't get up to the linebacker. There's so much stuff blocked wrong with this. And we still get nine yards. And we still get nine yards. So much stuff wrong with this with this play. And we still get nine yards. Let's end it with this one. We get we do have one gap run that was big. This is pin and pull. Add a little toss to the pin and pull. Got Derrick Henry out in space. 
Busted for 17. Busted for 17. So remember the rules. They run the left this time. So if there's a guy down in your gap to the right, you block down, uh, and then two other guys should pull. Before he's blocked down, Ryan is pulling, Linda Barnes pulling. Farlele is getting out of there. So Farlele, at this point, has an opportunity to cut Spillane off. I don't know if he will, but he has opportunity. I like McCarvish cutting his guy off. I like that. Mm. Aguilar. So if, Ag if Aguilar, if you're going to crack, you have to get closer. My bad. Hit the wrong button. If you're going to crack, you got to get closer to this guy. You got to. That's too much of a disc because if he shoot off field, you can't get hands on him at the, from there. Which he does, and you can't get hands on him. Luckily, they outflank him. Luckily, they outflank him. So good job by Mark. Now you got two of your, your most athletic linemen in space. Stanley, Linda Baum. Linda Baum tries to cut off Spillane. He can't. Oh, so Falele did not get there. See that? Falele did not get to, to Spillane. Did not. Did not. Now, I don't know if many guards would, but I'm just putting it out. Putting it out there. But when, he, when he does not get there, we go down a number. We go minus one, which is better for the defense. Because now we don't have a, a, a lineman blocking somebody. Look at Ronnie. Healthy Ronnie. Healthy Ronnie in space on a DB. Healthy Ronnie in space on a DB. And again, if we had two chances to block Spillane, didn't really get him blocked, guess who makes the tackle and kind of forces him out of bounds? Spillane and Christian Wilkinson. Where Christian Wilkinson came from? This Christian Wilkinson right here. He gets in on this play. Spillane right here gets in on the play. The freaking backside of the line lets their guys in on the tackle. Which is nuts. The right guard, right tackle. Those are the two guys. Their their guys make the tackle. So I just wanted to, to to take a quick look at the the runs from Sunday, and I still think we should run way more zone stuff than gap stuff. But they don't seem to see it that way. They keep forcing this gap stuff in there. And even though we had this one good gap play, this pin and pull right here, that counting power stuff ain't ain't hitting like it need to. They either need to fix it or or stop calling it as much, in my opinion. But I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I appreciate everybody for the help to get in the 10K. Let's push toward 20. So um, grab a link to this video, put it on your social medias, share it for people that are not have not discovered Sip the Tally yet, and um, let's spread the love, man. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace and love.